Um, stay consistent. Uh, consistent. That's the biggest thing I can tell you. Consistency is everything. Um, become a want. I mean, become a need, not a want. And then, last but not least, like just be yourself. Um, as long as you're yourself, create your own sound. Especially if you're in this field, create your own sound. Create your own avenue. Be creative, and and you'll 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 get exactly what you need to be. This is you. You've been on the radio, wasn't it? Yeah. How long you been on the radio? I've been on the radio since 2015. Okay. Okay. Is that what you like? Always wanted to do? Uh, nah, not actually. Uh, I played basketball. I played sports my whole life, so basketball was in the plans. I played college basketball. I was supposed to go overseas. Some stuff happened. Didn't go overseas. Got injured, and hosting came about. Okay, so you're a hooper for real? Yeah, I'm a hooper for real. You might oh. want to ask Blake. All right, man. We about to get into it. All right, man. <laughs> Andre, you ready? You like that? Yeah. All right, man. All in audio Yo, 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 what's up everybody? It's Jordan from All In, man, and bro, we are at the Valley Festival, and I got a very special guy. Yes, yes sir. I got Fly Guy DC in the building, man. Absolutely right, man, and I'm in the Ville. Ain't that what they call it? They call yes, it the sir. Ville. I the Ville. The Ville. Oh. I like that. I like that for sure. So we got, a, we got Atlanta. Are you are you from Atlanta, Atlanta originally? No, I'm actually from D.C., but Atlanta's okay, home. Sure. Uh, they say when you've been somewhere longer than 10 years, then it's home. I've been in Atlanta since 2008. Oh, you're from Atlanta. Yeah, so I mean, you you can say I'm from. Are you really from Atlanta? Are you from like Cobb County or whatever? I don't know what y'all be saying down there. So, um, um, when I moved to Atlanta, it was the South Side, which is Clayco, which is where Two Chains, Waka, Lotto, all of those, Monica, all of those are from. But my brand and me, I'm Atlanta, and nobody will ever go against that. All right, I like that. See, he could have told me anything. I wouldn't know. So, <laughs> I, I respect it, though. I like that. I like that. So let's get into it, man. You, you're, I say, I, I hear people say radio personality. Is that how you describe yourself? Yeah, a mixture of a lot of radio, TV personality, event host, media mogul. Yeah, media mogul. Like there you that. go. See, that's the type uh, of stuff uh, I like Triple to threat, media mogul. There so you go. How did you get it? How did you get in the radio at first? Let's start there. Uh, I grew a fan base. At Clark Atlanta and Spillman and Morehouse were hosting all their events. Okay. And then radio just reached out to me. Um, and from there, they added me to Holiday Show. Uh, within a year and a half, I had my own show with the co host, myself and Ferrari Simmons. And then within three years, I had my own show. Okay, so you just hustled your way up. Yeah. So were, would you consider yourself a people person? Like, how did you get into like doing events and stuff? Were you like, were you the party guy? Not really the party guy. Like, I was, I'm a people's person. Um, but like, even when I wasn't hosting, like I really wasn't in the parties. Okay. So like parties wasn't never my scene because okay. I played sports and I was always so into sports so much. Okay. You know, I'm going to tap into that. But what what I like to do on the show is kind of try to get insights for like the audience. Somebody might be at a different stage of their career and looking at you and like, how can I get there? So like, what, what, what advice would you give to somebody that's like, I'm stuck like doing maybe like um, at, at this level and I want to, I want to get that opportunity to get in a position to get on, get on the air. Um, stay consistent. Uh, consistent. That's the biggest thing I could tell you. Consistency is everything. Um, become a want. I mean, become a need, not a want. And then, last but not least, like just be yourself. Um, as long as you're yourself, create your own sound. Especially if you're in this field, create your own sound. Create your own avenue. Be creative, and and you'll 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 get exactly what you need to be. For sure. For sure. Is there any uh any people specifically that helped you like and like brought you along? <laughs> No. No? Okay. Uh, okay. I didn't have no mentors. Nothing against nobody, but I didn't have no mentors. Nobody little brothered me or took me under their wing of until course, I was already on. So sure. I wouldn't consider people bringing me along. There's people who have gave me advice once I was on and already found my path that came along and, and helped me in certain situations like a Sticks Malone, a DJ Holiday, a Ferrari Simmons, uh, a Stewie Rock. Like they all gave me like gems, but. That was after I was already like gotcha. lit. Gotcha. gotcha. All right. Let's get to the present then. What brings you out to Huntsville, man? Because you know we love to have guys like you come through and show some love to the city. Man, I mean Blake, Blake and Carter, uh, they're like family. Um, they we we started a relationship probably over five to seven years ago. Speaking of Blake, there he is. Yeah, there go BP. But uh, Hall of Fame is like family. To be very honest, um, mm-hmm. they literally brought me to a lot of their events. Uh, Miami. Uh, I host their stuff in Miami. 
um, even outside of Miami, um, we linked in Atlanta and us linking in Atlanta. I basically like I, I wouldn't say I gave them the key to the city, but I introduced them to the right people and put my face card and my word on the line for them because I believed in what they can do. Yeah. And they haven't proved nobody like they've done everything that they supposed to do, which is like now they're sort of like the biggest one of the biggest in Atlanta when it comes to promotion. So built that relationship with them. We've took it from Atlanta to Miami and it's just it's everlasting, even outside of clubs. Like they're like family. Like I consider Blake sure. and Carter like family. For sure, for sure. And if you know BP, he gonna have them shorties in that club. Yeah, he always got the shorties. He uh, that's one good. thing that he <laughs> always got is the shorties. I, I can't take that from Hall awesome. of Fame section is always full of females. Beautiful always females. Jumping, always jumping. So let's get to the future, man. What what's some things that you can tell us that you got coming up or even some aspirations for the future, man? Uh the crew lead is about to drop August eighteenth is episode one. There's a new episode every Friday until October 6th. I'm one of the official hosts, along with Justina Valentine, Funny Marco, Lil Duval. That's fire. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be extremely, extreme, and Buster. Uh, but it's going to be extremely, extremely dope. Um, they were, Buster, Lil Duval, Funny Marco were the commentators. Uh, guest host was Sukiyana, YK Osiris. And then sideline host was myself and Justina Valentine. Justine Valentine. So uh, it's going to be super dope. That drops uh, August 18th is episode one, and then outside of that, uh, I'll be signing a big radio contract very, 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 uh -oh, very soon. Uh -oh, uh -oh, so that's a gem for y'all right there. All right, then. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. But man, before we get out of here, bro, you keep touching on basketball. I love hoops, man. You, you said you got some game, bro. You said you a hooper. You true to this. Yeah. What's your, what's your game like? Uh, to be very transparent, I'm going to be the quickest thing out there. Okay, for sure. I can score at will. I'm left handed, okay. so yeah. that should just tell you everything. I can't stand lefties, bro. Um, I have a Kyrie Irving a okay. layup package. Okay, come on, um, now. To be very transparent, you can ask Blake about that. Or you could just go to my Instagram and see all the highlights. But I have a Kyrie Irving all right, for sure. uh, layup package. My, my, my jump shot has developed. That was the worst part of my game. But now I've developed a jump shot, so that's not even an issue. And I'm a, I'm, issue. I'm a defensive oriented guard. Like I can put the clamps on somebody. That. Me too. Me too. I got the defense, and I'm applying pressure. To the I'm getting to the rack. Yeah, like, that, yeah. Nobody's to gonna stop. Like respect. I can score well. Respect. Like, nobody's stopping me respect. from getting to the rack. All right. Last question. Who's your favorite player? My favorite player all time or currently? Ooh, both. My favorite player all time. And it just will have to be just because I mimic my game after them so much would be AI. Um, um, everybody has their goats, but based on my game and how I played and what I grew up, grew up uh, with the height that I had, the skills that I had, like my game mimicked AI more, which is uh, he's one of my all time greats. Um, and then currently, uh, I mean, there's a list of them, but at the top of that list is Kyrie Irving. Um, that boy different. Yeah, he, he's just different. And different. I mean, he, he's like a he's like a modern day Allen Iverson. For sure. To be very transparent. For sure. Just with a little extra sauce. Yeah, little little uh, fillet. <laughs> fillet. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Mine's Chris Paul and Kyrie. So I'm, oh I'm yeah, yeah. So so Chris Paul was my second. He's a pure point guard. He's pure a point he's guard. a generator. Big dimes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But, for sure. but hey, man, this is all in audio. Fly guy DC, man. I appreciate you. I the appreciate bill. You. Yes, sir. We out of here. Yes, sir. Ski. Oh, man, audio, audio. Audio.